time for a special announcement! We're less than three weeks away from the launch of the Switch and Zelda, and our hype cannot be contained. So if you haven't entered our Nintendo Switch giveaway yet, do so by clicking the link in the description below. Also, if we reach 85,000 subscribers by the launch on March 3rd, we'll give away this 10-inch Link statue from First Four Figures. Remember, Europeans, you don't get this sweet-looking thing until May, so enter to win. Hey kids, you like beans? Well, Game Informer spilled more of them today in a little four-minute video on their website, where Ben Reeves and Kyle Hilliard talk about Kyle's experience playing the game. Thankfully, it didn't have any spoilers, just some open-world and shrine gameplay we know and love. What we want to cover today, though, are the segments from the snow area in the game that we safely assume is Snow Peak. We're introduced to this area with Link doing some jousting on a couple of Bokoblins on horseback. It looks like combat atop horses will be easier depending on how long your weapon is. Here we see Link twirling his rake before attacking a Bokoblin. Maybe you attack enemies on horseback by holding that attack button, and he'll automatically do it once he gets close enough to one. That's just my theory, though. He's also very precise in this shot where he's hitting a Bokoblin on the ground. This is great, because I was just recently playing Twilight Princess HD, and the horse combat in that game left a lot to be desired. It's also worth noting that your horse will not run into anything, because after all, real horses don't run into trees very often. Kyle mentioned during this part that a group of enemies on horses will destroy you instantly if you're on foot, so it's best to have a horse with you when you can. Now here's an enemy we didn't expect to see in Snow Peak, the Lizzlefoes. Because aren't lizards cold-blooded? Don't they have to be in humid or hot areas all the time? You know what, forget it. Since lizzlefoes in this game represent chameleons instead of regular lizards, they also act as chameleons with their camouflage. It's not particularly difficult to pick them out. If you're paying attention, that is. We see this lizzlefoe in particular use ice elemental powers, while the ones in the jungle use electric ones. This could mean that depending on the area, the Luzzlefoes will have an assortment of elemental powers to use in battle. We didn't see this happen, but Kyle mentions that a Luzzlefoe he missed snuck up behind him and took off six hearts in one hit. Yeah, do not fuck with these guys. Since Snow Peak is a rather chilly area, we see Link wear his warm cotton shirt from the E3 demo, but depending on how cold it is, it won't be enough to keep him from freezing to death. That's why spicy foods are the key to staying warm. Strange. In my experience, spicy food will only kill you faster. On top of this Sheikah Tower, we see a ravine in the distance separating Snow Peak and the grassy areas of Hyrule. In any other Zelda game, it would be a bottomless pit. But apparently, you can use the paraglider to go down there. So what on earth is beneath that ravine? Is it dark and muggy with some creepy enemies? Or will there be sunshine and rainbows? I guess we'll have to find out when we get the game ourselves, because he didn't go down there himself. Like, why, why wouldn't you do that? Come on, you, you're not curious? I'm curious, come on. We hope you enjoyed yet another mini-episode of Breath of the Wild News. In case you didn't know by now, we're going to keep you updated on the beans Game Informer spills throughout the month, and we'll let you know if it's spoiler-induced. In the meantime, this has been the Commonwealth Realm and we will see you guys and gals soon.